Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be covering uh, how to spellcraft your template on Dark Age of Camelot uh, using Loki 1.4 software. Uh, specifically this demo is on the Phoenix Free Shard, which is a classic server, uh, mostly based on pay patch 1.65, which is why you need uh, Loki 1.4, uh, so that all of your imbue points, all your statistics, are correct. Uh, we're going to quickly cover the basic features of the Loki 1.4 interface, uh, how to input jewelry stats when building your template, uh, a brief demo on searching for jewelry on the Market Explorer in-game, so how to find the jewelry that will build up your template, uh, and then also using the Consult tool to fill all of the rest of your items with statistics, and then uh, getting a craft report for your SC or your spellcrafting person, might be you, and then sending it via Discord uh, so that they can actually craft it. Okay, so you can send it to somebody. Uh, and then finally, how to actually do the SC in game and then uh, apply it to your armor and such. Okay, so you have stats. All right, so first, uh, let's look into the Loki 1.4 features, how to use the software. Uh, if you were to build a new character, a new template, uh, up here you would insert the name of the character, or the name of the template you're building. Uh, the level, uh, typically you're building a template for a level 50, uh, which is max. Uh, the realm, so which realm you're doing, I'm going to be doing a character on Midgard. Uh, the class of the character, uh, my guy's a Scald, or at least this template is for a Scald. Uh, the race, uh, I made a troll. Uh, but just so you can see what's different, um, if I select Dwarf, pay attention to these resistance bonuses. So these plus things here, which I'll talk more about in a second. Uh, they change based on the race. So uh, we'll go with Dwarf, why not? Uh, then down here in these windows, you get your statistics window where you have all of your linear stats. So strength, con, dex, quick, uh, etc. And you want to turn on the ones that matter to your class. So I've turned on strength, con, dex, quick, charisma, hits. Uh, I have purposely turned off power, even though a scald uses power, uh, but it doesn't really matter much. Uh, to turn it on or off, you come up to this priority window here. And you can go to low, like I've done with my matter resistance here, uh, meaning it matters, but not the most critical. High, meaning do everything you can to cap that stat. Uh, or off, meaning don't waste points on that stat. Over here in our resistances window, you have uh, your percentage of resistance to various kinds of damage. Uh, you're going to want all those. Down here you have your skills that uh, apply to your class. Uh, and I've got Battle Songs, Parry, and Hammer uh, turned on uh, because my character is going to use Hammer. I've turned off Axe and Sword because I don't use those. Uh, over here you have other bonuses which don't matter on Classic Server, uh, so you can just ignore that. All right, in order to build your template, the first thing you're going to do is uh, manually insert any weapons uh, or items that you want in your template. Um, specifically. So for me, I have a two-handed Tuscarian Glacier Life Tap Hammer uh, that I want to make sure I have in there. Uh, so I've manually entered those stats um, into here. So uh, when you're doing that, I'll show you an example, uh, you can basically just type the first letter of whatever you're uh, searching for and it'll uh, insert that. Tab the amount, tab uh, the type, and you can just go like that. S stats, skills, um, power is one. Anyway, you can look at those under the drop-down menu. So these I'm not using, so I'll just go back to unused. Okay, that way my stats are correct. Uh, anyway, once you've inserted all the ones you know you want with some sort of special proc or charge or whatever, uh, then you need to uh, build in your jewelry. Uh, your jewelry has neck, cloak, jewel, belt, etc. Uh, and it defaults to level 51, 100 quality, drop, um, and all of these would be uh, unused empty stats if you didn't have anything in here. Uh, but none of that really matters because you're just going to manually insert whatever stats that item has on it. 
Uh, you're going to start, if you're in Midgard, on Phoenix with the neck. Because everybody here uses the SI neck, because it has tons and tons and tons and tons of utility. Uh, which basically means how well am I utilizing uh, the slots that I'm using up for statistics. Uh, basically, how well am I utilizing this imbue value, uh, which I'll talk about uh, a little later. Uh, anyway, high utility equals good. So insert the neck if you're using it, which you probably are, and then all the other stat, um, all the other jewelry, what you want to do is search for items that have as high of utility as possible while not over capping these various stats. So like right here I'm I'm over capped on cold, uh, which is not good based on the jewelry I have, uh, but it's the best I could do while still maximizing my uh, utility. But anyway, this extra three is totally wasted. In order to search for this jewelry to enter, uh, you go back in game and you go to the Market Explorer. Okay, On the Market Explorer you search for whatever slot you need. So in this case I've got jewel selected and I'm going to want to search level 51 items um, because most ROGs here are going to default to level 51. Uh, if I have no min price or max price and I click accept, uh, I'm going to get a, a ton of ROGs to search through. Uh, here's 33. Well, let's say I don't want to search through all 33. Um, I just want to find you know the higher quality ones. So I might put a minimum on it of like one plat uh, maybe I don't want to spend too much, so max 2 plat, something like that. And then now when I click accept, uh, I've narrowed it down to 7 pages. Okay. So in order to search through those, you just click on each one, look at its info, total utility, 50. So I'm searching for really high utility, uh, 50 plus probably okay for a easy to build class, 60 utility better for a harder to build class like a scald. Um, but anyway, once you find one you like, based on these stats here. Uh, you want to take those stats, uh, which by the way tells you the utility of each stat, and enter it into uh, that slot, in this case jewel, onto your template in Loki. Once you've built up all of those and not overcapped anything dramatically, um, then I need to fill in the rest of my items. So on armor, for example, I got my chest, arms, head. These all have optimized selected, meaning um, I'm going to craft these ones manually, put in other stats, uh, to try to fill out the rest of these missing components here. Uh, if you have uh, 99 quality stuff, so 99 quality legs in this case, that's going to be cheaper uh, in the game. Uh, however, it only has 28 imbue available, uh, and with my 5 overcharge up here, um, that means I can get up to 33.5 max on the 99 qual. Um, over here with an MP, in, in other words 100 quality, uh, the base goes up to 32, which with my 5 overcharge uh, can get up to 37.5. So uh, it's much more expensive though. Uh, hands and feet are a little cheaper, so I made those MP. Anyway, once you're ready, you've prepped everything, you've put in your jewelry stats, you've got your uh, weapons manually built if you've got some sort of uh, drop and the rest are on optimize, uh, you're not totally overcapped, then you want to do your craft, or sorry, your consult tool. So click consult and it'll start thinking of how to fill all these stats. Uh, you can either wait for it to completely think and fill this bar with blue, uh, but I've found that Click and disturb early really doesn't change how good it's going to be that much. So I'm going to go ahead and disturb, and boom. Uh, if I look over here, I've got one missing con, uh, let's see, one missing body, which is not ideal, one missing matter, who cares, um, and then battle songs, parry, hammer, everything capped. So this is a pretty darn good template. I'm literally just missing uh, one on two resists and one con. Uh, that's pretty good. So now, in order to actually craft that, I go over here and I click Craft Report. Oh, and that's with the two-handed. With the one-handed, it'll all be capped. Uh, anyway, go over to Craft Report, uh, which shows the gems that you need and the stats associated uh, for each item you're going to craft. I need to save that file to somewhere on my computer, so I've got my templates folder here, and I'm calling this Test 50. 
Yes, I want to replace it. Uh, then I need to go send that to somebody. You could use email, but uh, most people in the gaming world are using Discord. Uh, so you just go up here and input that. Upload it. Alright, so the last step is to actually spellcraft your items. Uh, I'm going to do one example on the feet. And the first thing I need to do is prepare all of these gems uh, to be made. Okay, so these four gems. Okay, so in game, uh, I'm standing near the uh, spellcrafting table uh, in Ajir, where it just happens to be easier to do. And down here, I'm going to prepare my gems on my hotbars um, so I'm ready to buy them and craft them. Uh, so, in order to find them and put them here on your hotbar, uh, in your spellcrafting window here, uh, you're going to search for the various gems. Uh, so my faceted blood essence, okay, search for the type of gem, and then the level of gem or quality of gem, in this case faceted. Okay, so I've got my four gems prepared. Uh, the guy I need to buy everything from is just over here, and if you have him targeted from far away, you can actually buy things from way over here and never have to move. So click on the first one and it says I can't uh, create it because I'm missing some stuff and you can either uh, buy up to one or buy one uh, so if I were just missing like a couple items which it looks like I am here I can just click the up to one button okay uh, and then now I should be able to create it cool and um, if you can either do them one at a time like that which here in Azure that's pretty easy to do uh, or you can go click, buy, click, buy, click, buy, uh, and buy everything all at once. If you do that, you're going to have to move all of the uh, items down to the bottom, though, um, so that your gems are created in the order you want. So it's probably easier to just do one at a time. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you both options. Okay, uh, so let's click and create the rest. Okay, and once that's all created, so let me move my boots up here that I'm going to craft. You right-click those, click Craft, and it'll bring up your crafting window. Do not click Salvage. Uh, and then you drop all your gems into the trade window. If you're doing this with two people, I still recommend having them um, try to trade the item with you. And then you drop them in the trade window uh, and click Combine. Uh, the reason why is it might be faster to have them all... Uh, all the armor given to you, but by doing it this way and clicking combined, they can also see this information down here in the trade window and verify that these stats are correct. I tell them as soon as you click accept, and I see that you clicked accept, I'll assume that means you've verified the stats. So that way the, the onus is not totally on you. You got two people checking it. All right, anyway, these stats are good. My view is 33 of 28, which is possible. And I click accept, and it failed. Try again until it succeeds. Uh, basically, when you try to overcraft, sorry, yeah, overcharge OC, um, it can fail. But on this server, you won't blow up, so that's good. And voila! Now I have my item with stats on it. Cool. And then you would need to apply some alchemy and then go over to this enchanter dude over here to put your bonuses on it and that's it thanks for watching